get out of it, I'll go back and see you. I'm now at that point in my renovation where I'm hanging a few doors, doing some architraves and some skirting boards. So I thought it might be a good idea to show you how I hang a door from start right through to the finish. Now there's plenty of ways to do it and everyone has their own system. This is how I do it and because there's a bit involved, I might break this up into a few different parts so you don't get information overload. All right, we'll kick off. We're setting up your door jams, ready to hang the door. So this is the doorway where my door is going to be hung and the door itself is swinging in that direction. So this stud here is the stud where your hinge side jam is going to be attached to. Now, this is the big secret. Don't tell your mates. The very first thing you need to do, the very first step, is to get this stud nice, straight and plumb, which might require a bit of packing. But do that and the rest of the job will just flow beautifully. So let's do it. So my stud is actually pretty good. It just has to go across a whisker at the top. And that'll be spot on. Now my doorway has about 30 mil clearance once the door jam has been put in. So to bridge that gap a little bit, I'm putting in these blocks. So one up the top, one around the middle, one down the bottom, and then one each in the middle of those two spaces. Beautiful. Some door openings, you may not even need blocks like this, but in my case, I had to. And now that they're installed, just grab your straight edge, up against those blocks, grab your level, use some packers, and get that nice and plumb. And this is the packing that I use. It's a masonite strap or strip, which you can buy from your local hardware shop. It's about one eighth or three millimeters thick, and you can either use it in that dimension or get your electric planer and plane it down into various thicknesses. Let's do it. So I think it requires a fairly thin strap Come up there and that is as plumb as it gets. So I'll nail that Mason might pack it in place. If you use a nail gun, that'll go straight through that strap or that packer. So I've got some soft sheet nails or some clouts. And I'll just clout him on. It's beautiful. Now put your straight edge back against those blocks and use your packers again to pack out where you've put all of those blocks in. So with that straight edge, hard up against the top block and hard up against that bottom block, just use your packers and try and bridge that gap between the straight edge and the block. And the trick is not to have a block that's too big that's going to push the straight edge out because that'll throw that stub work out of plumb. So with your packers, just work your way along to your fine one that fits. And this one here is absolutely beautiful. So nail him off and then do the same process for the rest of those blocks. Absolutely spot on. So that's step one all finished. Pretty easy, wasn't it? Now what I want you to do is to go out and do that step and then come back for video two or step two, which I'll leave a link for in the description box below where we'll be installing the door hinges. 
So go out, do that, and come back for video two. And don't forget, big thumbs up, and I'd love to know how you went. So leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck, till then, cheers.